President Biden testing positive for COVID, learning he had COVID after routine testing this morning. The president's doctor, Dr. Kevin O'Connor, a short time later issuing a memo saying the president is, quote, fully vaccinated and double boosted and is being treated with the antiviral Paxlovid. He began taking it this morning. The president is 79 and from the White House today, Dr. Jha, the COVID response coordinator, offering reassuring words, saying the president has mild symptoms, a runny nose, a dry cough, and repeatedly pointing out the president has had his two vaccine shots, two boosters, and is now on that antiviral. And he reminded Americans, Dr. Jha did, that these are the same tools they have to fight this too. Shortly after the news this morning, the president tweeting, I'm doing great, along with this photo of him at work at the White House residence now. And then a short time after that, this 21 second video on the White House balcony saying, hey, folks, guess you heard. I really appreciate your concern saying keep the faith. It's going to be OK. The president yesterday traveling to Somerset, Massachusetts, to address climate change and, of course, returning after last week's overseas trip to the Middle East. First Lady Jill Biden is traveling today. She's tested negative this morning in Detroit, continuing with her schedule in Michigan and Georgia while masking and distancing, according to CDC guidance. The president, we are told, will isolate for at least five days before returning to any regular activities after testing negative, while the first lady will spend the weekend at their home in Wilmington, Delaware. Our senior White House correspondent, Mary Bruce, leading us off tonight. After dodging the virus for two and a half years, COVID finally catching up to President Biden. He took a routine test this morning and it came back positive. The result announced shortly after 10 a.m. In a letter, Biden's doctor writing the president is experiencing mild symptoms, mostly a runny nose and fatigue with an occasional dry cough. At 12.15, the president, eager to reassure Americans, tweeting this photo of him making phone calls, saying, folks, I'm doing great, keeping busy. And not long after, this video message. This morning I tested positive for COVID, but I've been double vaccinated, double boosted, symptoms are mild, and, uh, and I really appreciate your inquiries and your concerns. But I'm doing well, I'm getting a lot of work done, I'm going to continue to get it done. And, uh, and in the meantime, thanks for your concern and keep the faith, it's going to be okay. The First Lady, a close contact, keeping up her travel schedule. As you may have just heard, my husband tested positive for COVID. I talked to him just a few minutes ago, he's feeling fine, he's feeling good. Uh, I tested negative this morning. The news coming less than 24 hours after Biden was on the road in Massachusetts, working the crowd in the heat, chatting maskless with reporters, and spending time with members of Congress on Air Force One. White House COVID response coordinator Dr. Ashish Jha explaining when the president got home, he started feeling tired. Late in the evening, he felt some amount of fatigue. After a long day of travel, I don't know, I've, there are a lot of late evenings where I feel some amount of fatigue, I don't know about all of you. Um, he went to bed. Uh, I asked him how he slept. He said he just had a bit of a restless night. So I, I really think his symptoms, you could say, either began late last night or early this morning. Tonight, we're told the 79-year-old president is breathing well. His oxygen levels are normal. He has not had a fever and is working comfortably in the residence, surrounded by fewer aides than usual. The White House says he started taking the antiviral drug Paxlovid right after testing positive this morning. We know that rebound COVID cases have been a concern in some individuals who take Paxlovid. How concerned are you that could potentially uh, hinder his return? Rebound rates are around 5%. So it happens, it's not that frequent. But here's the key point about rebound, which is when people have rebound, they don't end up in the hospital. They don't end up particularly sick. Dr. Jha saying he doesn't have any expectations that Biden will develop other symptoms at this point. And he used this moment to remind Americans that they have the same tools to fight COVID as the president. Because the president is fully vaccinated, double boosted, his risk of serious illness is dramatically lower. He's also getting treated with a very powerful antiviral, and that further reduces his risk of serious illness. And it's a reminder of the reason that we all work so hard to make sure that every American has the same level of protection that the president has. So let's get right to Mary Bruce, live back at the White House. Mary, you and I were on the air this afternoon during this uh, briefing from the White House briefing room. The president we know now isolating and working from the White House residence. And they were very clear today that he won't return to the West Wing until at least it seemed like the middle of next week that he's going to follow the CDC guidance. 
And per that guidance, the president will now be isolating for five more days through next Tuesday. But the White House is also going beyond the CDC guidelines and says the president will not return to the office and his normal activities until he has a negative antigen test. And we know that could take some time. David. Yeah, that's really interesting. For many Americans, it's five days. And then even if you don't test, you can go back out with your mask. But the president's going to wait five days plus wait for the negative result. Mary, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.